Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. Today I'm in my dining room. I've made a beautiful tablecloth with some linen squares and I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's get started. Here are the pieces of fabric I'm using. They're actually not squares, they're 11 by 12. I'm just using these upholstery type decorator fabrics and most of them are very linen-like. They don't have the uh, type of fabric listed but they feel like linen so I am going to be adding just a few more linen pieces to these because I didn't have quite enough. My pieces of fabric are, like I said, I think mainly linen, but I have mixed in some other decorator type fabrics with this project. And I think the sky's the limit. Any kind of fabric that you like would work for this tablecloth that I'm gonna be making today. For my tablecloth, I attached the 12 inch sides together to make a long row of five and then I just put my rows together and made this tablecloth the size that I needed for my table. After getting the patchwork together, I found a piece of fabric for the lining of my tablecloth. If you uh, sort of finish the edges with pinking shears or if you have a machine that does some finishing, a zigzag or something, you wouldn't need to do this. But I wanted a finished backside to my tablecloth, so I found a very thin piece of cotton and I'm attaching it. I'm putting the right sides together and pinning all the way around and that backing piece is just an inch or two bigger than my tablecloth. After getting it all pinned together, I took it to my machine and I sewed all the way around, leaving 
about a 12 inch opening so that I could turn it right side out. I took my tablecloth to my ironing board and I pressed all over but mainly focused on these edges because I'll be top stitching on one side where I had that opening. You could top stitch all the way around but for this project here I'm just going to finish that edge that I where I have the opening. And then to keep my two layers together, I just uh, in a maybe six areas, I took uh, my machine and I went back and forth right where some of those squares t come together. So you really can't see these little areas where I'm sort of basting the two layers together so that when I wash it, it kind of holds together a little bit. So I didn't add very many of these stitches, but just a couple. And then I was all done with this beautiful tablecloth. I was really happy to use these leftover sample pieces and then I just added more from my stash that kind of went along with the sample pieces that I started with, made a beautiful tablecloth. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.